Hey, welcome back. This is Isaac, and today we're going to talk a bit about setting up our mail server. Um, now, most of what we're going to be doing today uh, is actually going to be theory more than actual hands-on configuration because luckily um, most uh, the web the mail server package that we're going to install usually configures itself auto configures itself pretty much to the configuration that we want um, but to make up for that uh, I'm going to show you how uh, how to install the web the, the mail server package which is something that I didn't cover in uh, previous uh, installments of this uh, series um, so a bit of background uh, a mail server actually needs to serve two purposes which require distinct configurations uh, the first being to uh, the allowing people to send mail out of the server and the second being allowing people to uh, receive mail uh, coming into the server uh, and each of these requires different aspects of the mail configuration uh, and additionally incoming mail actually also has two distinct parts to it the first being the ability for the server to receive and possibly process mail for the different users uh, and the second being the ability for the users to log in and access their email so the mail server itself only takes care of that first one, with being uh, receiving and possibly processing the mail for the users. And the second is achieved by either installing a POP3 or an IMAP server, uh, possibly in conjunction with a webmail interface on your dedicated server. Uh, handling both outgoing and incoming mail can be tricky, and as a general rule of thumb, it's probably not something that you'll want to do in-house. You'll probably want to outsource it at first, uh, both so that you're not flooded with incoming spam mail, uh, which if you ever start doing, you know, hosting your own mail, you're going to get tons of that. Um, and secondly, so that hackers can't trivially hijack your mail server for the purpose of sending spam mail. Uh, I recommend using GoDaddy for your incoming email needs. They have plans starting at just $9.99 a year, or uh, they even advertise one uh, address, catch-all address free with any domain purchase. Um, and it's by far easier than managing your own incoming mail server. Uh, they also include an SMTP service, so you could actually also send emails from their server. Uh, while this is highly recommended for um, for use with your email client, uh, it may not be a good idea for you to use your websites to send uh, emails using their SMTP server since they actually limit you. Uh, and last time I checked, that limit was 250 outgoing emails a month. Uh, as such, it's usually a good idea to set up an outgoing only mail server on your dedicated server to allow websites and scripts hosted on your uh, server to send mails out unmetered. Uh, just the last word of caution before we begin, you have to be very careful to keep an eye out on, on uh, uh, monitoring your server if you, uh, if you do allow uh, have an outgoing mail server running. Uh, if someone can compromise your email sending scripts and hijack them to send spam, it's you that your ISP or hosting provider is going to hold responsible. Um, they usually won't fine you or anything, but they will shut you down until you can prove to them that you've dealt with the matter responsibly. Um, so often a distribution will default to use a specific mail server. Red Hat-based systems tend to lean towards SendMail by default, while Debian-based systems lean towards Exum by default. Uh, also, your hosting provider may install a mail server in advance uh, to to you know, meet their standard uh, operations. Uh, there are several popular mail server packages out there, including SendMail, Exim, PostFix, QMail, Courier, and more. Uh, we can't possibly cover every one of them. As a matter of fact, even in the full uh, dedicated server handbook, uh, which you can get a copy of at www.thededicatedserverhandbook.com. Um, we we don't even manage to cover all of them because it's just um, beyond what we can do. Uh, rather, 
what we're going to do is we're going to look at SendMail and explain uh, in theory what we need to be doing for, for all the other mail servers. What we want to accomplish is to set up a mail server that will send all locally generated email to anywhere but won't accept mail from the outside. So we're going to start by going to Servers and clicking on Send Mail Mail Server, which is the server that we're going to set up. Now, as you can see here, uh, Webmin is giving us an error that the Send Mail Mail Server is not yet installed on, on our system. And you might have gotten this uh, earlier with other software packages in the series that might not have been installed uh, by default. Uh, so the way to get around this uh, is simply just by clicking on the link that um, that they offer to install it automatically using our local package manager. Since we're using Ubuntu here, which is a Debian-based distribution, uh, our package manager is going to be apt. So we're going to click. And as you can see, Webman is going to go ahead and download all that software for us uh, and set it up. There we go. And we're done. Now, uh, the options of interest to us here are listed under Send Mail Options. 